we have considered linear hypothesis on data. And in the following, let us uh, have a look at uh, the simplest and the most straightforward uh, linear model, which is used for classification tasks. This is the perception. Uh, the idea of the perception is very uh, easy. Um, it is about how to use, how, how we use the value a linear hypothesis produced at the data points or at the samples. It is a simple judgment. If uh, the edge value is greater than a threshold, um, because we now have uh, simulated the threshold into a generic representation. Remember, we have a dummy input of the data, which is constantly to be one. So now we have this form of the, um, the, uh, the pro production of H value. If this H value is greater than zero, um, then the model will predict this data sample is uh, a positive class, belongs to the positive class. Uh, otherwise, it belongs to the negative class. If we write out this uh, mathematic um, formulation on the two-dimensional plane, uh, it, uh, uh, it writes like this. The input of this each function um, is um, x1 and x2. Notice that x0 is the dummy input. It is always 1. And the parameter of the h function Look, we are considering a family of each functions. Each such a W parameter setting will specify uh, one particular H function. Those parameters are W0 equals B, the buyers, and W1 and W2. Uh, believe it's not, believe it or not, this is um, perhaps one of the earliest uh, um, intelligent algorithm that has the capability of learning from data. It was motivated by the biological neuron. A neuron collects its impulse uh, with um, a varying sensitivities. And then the neuron compares uh, how it has been accumulated with some threshold, if um, it finds that the um, the collected input uh, exceeds the threshold, the neuron will be activated. Otherwise, uh, it will be in the status we call inhibited. This sample computational model, we are pretty sure, uh, is uh, the basic unit that's underlying the super successful deep learning methods. And uh, according to the state of the art research, we pretty much believe that it's also the computational model behind biological neuron computing. But this is uh, still an open research problem. Now let's try to understand the behavior of um, a perception. It is very important to know that uh, perception and uh, uh, generally speaking, a linear model or all data models work not only on the data samples as we have uh, stressed previously. It, as, as long as you have specified a data model, you have to consider its behavior on the entire data space. So at each value at, at each point uh, in of a possible data of, of at each point of the, the data data space this is a possible combination uh, of uh, legal values of the attributes the model uh, will produce some value some prediction for the linear model um, as for the for the perception 
H, which is a linear model. We examine the H value the model produces at each point on this two-dimensional space. You can see it is a well linear. Um, we use the color to represent uh, the value and the color uh, changes with a linear gradient in the space. So the model behavior, um, uh, to be specific about the behavior of the model, that is, how the model associates such a value at each point in the data space. With this respect, uh, <coughs> the model parameters, the linear model's parameters, determines its behavior like follows. Uh, let us consider a very straightforward and simple example. Say, if our let, we let our W1 to be 1.0 and the W2 to be now. Then um, you can imagine the value the model associates with each data point only change, changes with, with the increasing or the decreasing of X1. Uh, different values of X2 will not affect the value the model produce uh, given that particular data point. On the other hand, if we let W1 to be zero and W2 to be uh, some positive value, C1.0, then when X2 increases, the value the model produces at the data points will increase. And the value of x1 have no effect on the value of um, um, the model. And uh, uh, to generalize this um, this line of thinking, let's consider uh, w1 and w2 both take positive values. Then we will see the value produced by the model will increase with respect to both w W1 and W2. So you can understand now the value of W1 and W2 determines the slope uh, of the gradient of the value produced by the linear model. Uh, now let's consider the classification behavior of the perception. Perception classifies data points uh, by thresholding, and uh, the threshold uh, by thresholding, you can see, uh, you can imagine we draw a line uh, along some constant color in the data space, and the line cuts the space in two halves. We let one half to be um, one type of class say positive and the other half to be another type of class, say negative. And the positive or negative, if you write it down mathematically, um, it looks like this. Uh, the value produced at the point uh, with the bias, now we explicitly write the bias. Remember that uh, we have discussed that it does not matter if we write it in this way or we write it down as uh, W0 times uh, X0, because W0 is B and X0 is 1. So this is equivalent to determine whether this value, um, well, well, have I, oh, excuse me, I think I have made a mistake in this equation, but you get the point. We compare this value with the value of uh, uh, the buyers. And the bias then determines uh, at which point um, we, uh, sorry, at which constant value we draw the line for classification. And in the following, we will di discuss how, how could we um, determine such values of the parameter so that the perception works well on the data.